Okay, you guys, so I just got Middle Eastern vegan and I'm so excited to eat it and mukbang. Look at my view once again, showing you guys. This is downtown Portland. There's an H&M down there. That's my view for now. Okay, so I think I'm good now with the lighting and everything. I do have that light going and then there's the outdoor light. I feel like I'm shooting a porno right now. Um, I got vegan Middle Eastern food. It's like Middle Eastern or Israeli and I've never really had that before. Um, they did spell my name correctly, so that's great. I kind of like how it's lowercase, but um, let's get right into it. First things first, I got Lebni, and if you guys don't know what Lebni is, um, oh, that's cool. They recycle, they're like using some random other container for my Lebni. Um, I don't know if it's gonna show up, but basically, um, Lebni the, um, is Middle Eastern whatever. The English name is called kefir cheese, which I didn't even know until recently. But it's basically like, the way I would describe it is it's a mix between yogurt and cream cheese. Because it has a slight hint of tanginess like yogurt, but it's thick and it's creamy like cream cheese. It's literally bomb, very high in fat and calories. But anyways, this is a vegan version of it. So let's try that. I mean, I should have asked for bread. I don't know why I didn't think of that or why he didn't offer that. Like it should come with bread. Maybe this is bread. Okay, this is bread. So thank God for that because um, I wonder if the people, this is my thing about places like Portland. It's predominantly white people. And I don't know if a lot of these places are authentic or not. So speaking of kefir, since we're talking about kefir cheese, kefir is actually a, basically it's like a yogurt drink or a dairy-based drink with a lot of probiotics. I like it, although I haven't had it too many times, but there's also something called water kefir, which I used to make a lot during my college days. Um, so water kefir is essentially using similar bacteria, but you're using water instead of like milk to actually um ferment the beverage and so he said they have these canned water kefir drinks which i'm super excited to try water kefir should not be super sweet because um and the way you make water kefir is basically doing the water kefir grains which are the bacteria you add water to it and then you can add any form of sugar so you could do fruit juice you could do actual just regular sugar um, you can't do honey because honey is naturally antibacterial and it'll pretty much like counteract the bacteria that's supposed to grow. But basically it becomes like a natural soda and it's really, really good. So let's try this one. Yum. It's just like a sparkling light soda, 40 calories zero fat zero protein and then it's eight grams of carbs because of the sugars and it does contain trace amounts of alcohol because it's fermented and they did add grape juice cranberry juice and stuff after the fermenting so when you don't add all that stuff like when it's just actually fermented fruit juice or fermented like water plus sugar, then you have a very non-sweet drink actually. Please tell me he included, he did not include utensils. And that is my biggest pet peeve with, with like ordering out is like nine times out of 10, no, I'm exaggerating, like two times out of 10, they don't include the thing. But let's use the bread and try this lebni out. So they usually put olive oil and stuff on top. So this one is made with cashew cheese. Mmm. 
really good. Obviously, it tastes nothing like actual lemony, but it's really good. You know what? I just realized I have my fucking fork from yesterday. So guess what, bitch? I don't even need to rely on front desk. This one is um, Sharma Fries. Mm. This thing he said is... I forgot the name, but there's couscous in it. And also grilled mushrooms, which I love. And that's front desk, but guess what, bitch? Too late. She's canceled. Actually, this fucking restaurant is canceled. Because when you don't put utensils, you're definitely canceled. Actually, I think that's a Portland thing because the guy yesterday for the um, food that I got was like, oh, do you need a bag? Oh, do you need this? Do you need that? So I think because they're so eco-conscious here, it kind of turns out to them being like really almost stingy it's like okay if i'm getting takeout like come on like i mean i know right now takeout is like people are taking it home and eating it but i feel like you should assume that people want it and then or maybe even ask like i mean i guess he did ask and like that's why i'm talking shit but like this guy today didn't ask he could have said do you need utensils or not and then put a set of utensils and then if I'm coming to you and, like, ordering three different things, like, obviously I'm gonna fucking want a bag. Like, you think I'm gonna juggle it in my hands? Like, no. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna pour this quote-unquote lebni all over this, which is probably not the best idea, but I don't really want to eat it by itself. Regular lebni is bomb, like, first of all, on its own. But, literally, like, I'm so dirty right now. But if you have it with hot Cheetos, if you guys have not had hot Cheetos with either just regular plain yogurt. So, like, basically, if you're a true first generation, like, Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, Eastern kid, you know the bombness of, like, first of all, just any chips with matzun, like, yogurt or especially spicy chips with yogurt like it's bar none because like the cooling effect and the hot effect like it's just beyond but especially hot cheetos and lebni because lebni is super thick so you can like scrape it with your hot cheeto and eat it and it's like the fucking best okay so now that i've shown you guys these um Basically, it's soy curls, aka fake shawarma, regular fries. The taste is bomb, but it needs to be hot, not cold. So if I had a microwave, I would heat this shit up and it would be perfection. Okay, you guys, hope you liked that quick little mukbang. I just wanted to show you guys the vegan Middle Eastern food, just in case you guys are near location and maybe you are Middle Eastern or you want to try that type of food. Like, it's interesting how they have vegan options. I would say they don't really compare to, like, the actual, but, like, I feel like they're good in their own right and they're not like equivalent to the other versions in terms of taste. Oh, also I did try that skincare brand I was telling you guys about and I really like it. Um, it's been really good and um, I wanna keep using it today. And since they are samples, they're kind of like running low already, but um, I would love to actually buy full sizes of them. Anyways, have a good night, y'all.